Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. I thought I would show you this M5 stack development kit I purchased. So just to reiterate, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I purchased my own equipment to uh, to demonstrate. So this is an ESP32 based modular stackable Arduino compatible unit. It's quite small, self-contained. A reset switch, a micro USB C type connector, a Grove I2C connector, and a let's call it a bus connection for the primary connections to the ESP32. The more bus connections, a TFT or micro SD card reader, three user buttons, a loudspeaker, one watt loudspeaker, more connections and um, that's about it so it's stackable i'll show you that so i purchased also a prototype stack unit so let me turn the turn the unit on then so single press of the reset button it's currently running a graphics demonstration it's very easy to convert the graphics um perhaps the adafruit ili9341 a program written for that replace the library i'll give an example but replace the library and prefix the graphics uh, uh, drawing statements with m5 so that's quite easy to do i found that very easy to do runs very fast it's a two inch lcd color display 16-bit color and you'll see there that's running at hardware spi bus speeds to turn on and off you, you can press to on and double press to switch off so have a look inside by the way this is the kit that comes with it you get the micro usb c type short connector it's essential you have the type c connection a DuPont cable for I.O. connections, labels and some instructions. Here's the unit inside. Let's do a there's the base of the unit and um, a, a nice labeling of all of the connectors so you know which one is which. In terms of internals, the ESP32 is here has this um, dual 15 row 2.54 millimeter bus connector here and the connections for this bus are shown here in that nomenclature this is a uh, the 3d antenna for wi-fi bluetooth on the back just to reiterate on the back is a two inch 320 by 240 LCD color display. Here is an audio amplifier. Over here is a one watt speaker. There's a power management chip here, a three channel power management chip. A UART, a CP2014 UART. Um, type C micro usb type c connector grove i2c so clock data vcc and ground grove is a de facto standard you can find grove compatible cables uh, in most suppliers for want of a better standard that's as good as any a tft micro sd card reader a battery connection in here is a 150 milliampere hour lipo battery you can connect an external battery as well i'll show you a, um, a prototype stack unit so this is a bare board prototype one that plugs into there and then the base on that same bus plugs into there and there's the unit running 
We'll see if I had a uh, sensor on there, I could display the sensor values. So it's currently running off the internal uh, LiPo battery. Double click that to turn off, get back inside. So in terms of these um, stack units, there's a, a GSM a mobile phone one, a GPS global positioning. There's the prototype one here, a DHT12, a temperature humidity sensor, um, an extended life battery, 850 milliampere hour, a wristwatch holder. So you can put one of these on your arm. A desk stand, it's a, a quite a nice, neat desk stand, so the unit, you could 3D print one, I'm sure, but there's a desk stand that makes it stand roughly like that. There's a LoRa 433 megahertz stack unit, and an MPU 9250, 9 degrees of freedom um, position sensor. Six degrees of freedom, if my fingers here denote X, Y, and Z. One degree, two degrees of freedom is in the X domain is left and right. In the Y domain is forward and back, that's four. And Z domain, up and down, is six. When you add another sensor, like an accelerometer, that gives you another three degrees of freedom in x y and z axes nine hence nine degrees of freedom so that is the m5 stack development kit it's very good i like it and it's very versatile and it's been very well uh, designed and constructed it's very easy to convert your programs from um, the ILI 9341 library to the M5 stack library it's um, much much easier actually because all the connections are predefined for you hope you found that video useful I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful 